subscribe now and press the bell icon. Welcome to your channel Bio World and Asman Science Academy. In previous lecture, we have discussed about the NEET syllabus and today we are going to discuss about the reproduction in lower and higher class. So let's start. So starting with the topic reproduction in lower and higher class. So first of all, we should know what is meant by reproduction. Reproduction, it is a process or we can say it is the ability of living organism. But for what? So living organism, they produce young ones. of their own kind when any living organism produces new animals of their own kind the process or this ability of living organism is said to be the reproduction kabhi imagine kiya hai ki aam ke ped ko kuch alag fruit laga hai apple laga hai nahi because it is due to the genetic material the living organism produces their young ones of their own kind. Unke jaise young one produce karte hai. To us process ko is living organism ke ability ko hum log bolte hai reproduction. So reproduction they mainly categorized into two types. Because her living organism mein mode of reproduction ye different hota hai. Lekin usko humne main do category mein divide kiya hai. Woh hai. Asexual reproduction and sexual reproduction. Now, what is the basic difference between asexual and sexual reproduction? Asexual reproduction it involves only single parent. While the sexual reproduction it involves two parents, and among these two parents, one is compulsory male and another is a compulsory female. So these are two modes of reproduction, asexual and sexual reproduction. Now, what are the significance of reproduction? Basically, there are various significance of reproduction, but main two significance are, the first one, it is, it is necessary for the continuation of a species. Continuation of species means there is a transmission of genetic material from one generation to another generation and it helps for the continuation of species. And the second significance is it helps to maintain the continuity of life. One living organism produces from the previous or pre-existing life that is the continuity of life. So let's move towards the asexual reproduction in a lower organism. So first of all, let me introduce with the asexual reproduction. The first thing is it involves only single parent. Single parent is involved so that there is no fusion of compatible gametes. What is mean by gametes? Male gamete and female gamete. F gamete means it is a haploid set of chromosome. 
when the cell possesses the haploid set of chromosome it is called as a gamete and there are male and female gamete but in asexual reproduction as it involves only single parent there is a no fusion of compatible gamete the third thing is there is no variations in offsprings offsprings mein कोई वेरिएशन हमें नहीं दिखते असेक्शुअल रिप्रोडक्शन में द फोर्थ थिंग इज दे आर जेनेटिकली एंड मॉर्फोलॉजिकल इट मींस देयर एक्सटर्नल अपियरेंस एंड जेनेटिक मटेरियल दे आर सिमिलर टू देयर पेरेंट्स जेनेटिक मटेरियल एंड एक्सटर्नल अपियरेंस इट इज सिमिलर टू देयर पेरेंट्स हेंस दे आर कॉल्ड एज अ क्लोन्स so the offsprings or the individual produced by asexual reproduction are called as a clones clones means when they are genetically similar to their parents repeating the same point in the fourth point we are discussing about when the individuals are genetically and morphologically similar to their parents then it is called as clones so there are various modes of asexual reproduction in a lower organism what are they so we will discuss it in detail the first mode of asexual reproduction it is binary fusion this fusion means breakdown and bi means two this is a parental bacterial cell and when this parental bacterial cell it undergoes a binary fusion that is the breakdown it divides into two equal sized cell to equal sized cell such a mode of reproduction is called as a binary fusion so parent parental cell it divides into two equal sized cell such a mode of asexual reproduction is called as a binary fusion the next mode of asexual reproduction it is the fragmentation now what is meant by fragmentation fragmentation here the example is spirogyra which is a filamentous organism filamentous organism in which the body is a filamentous this a filamentous organism it breaks it down into various filament the reason may be different it is due to the mechanical injury it is may be due to the stress various reasons that the filamentous organism it breaks it down into various filament and this each filament it grows as an independent individual so when each filament it grows as an independent individual this mode of asexual reproduction is called as a fragmentation and the example is a spirogyra the another mode of asexual reproduction it is the budding budding what is mean by budding budding is the process of formation of an outgrowth on parental cell during favorable condition when there is a favorable condition the parental cell undergoes the formation of outgrowth on its body 
and this outer growth is called as a bud it means budding is a process of formation of bud on the parent cell and the example is it is the yeast suppose this is a parental cell and its parental cell during floripal condition it forms an outgrowth on its body again forms outgrowth on its body and this is this is a parental cell and its parental cell it forms an outgrowth it is said to be the chain of bud and when the organism reproduces by the formation of bud the mode of a sexual reproduction is called as a budding and the example is yeast so fourth mode of a sexual reproduction it is the sporulation sporulation it is the process of formation of spore the process of formation of spore is called as a sporulation the spores are mainly categorized into two types they are motile spores and non motile spores motile spores it shows the movement and this movement due to the presence of the locomotory organ it is the flagella and its motile spores they are called as a zoospores they are called as a zoospores and the example is the chlamydomonas chlamydomonas it is a type of algae which shows the formation of the motile spores called as a zoospores and this movement it is due to the presence of the locomotory organ it is the flagella while the non motile spores they shows they does not shows the movement the reason is due to the absence of flagella and these spores are called as a conidia these are non motile spores are called as a conidia and here the example is the paramecium this paramecium it shows the formation of the non motile spores and is non motile spores they are called as a conidia so it is the fourth mode of asexual reproduction that is the sporulation and another mode of asexual reproduction it is the gemmule formation but it is the mode of asexual reproduction in lower animals which we will discuss in the next lesson that is the human reproduction so hope so you will you you understand this topic about the asexual reproduction in lower organism and thank you for your great response hope so uh the lesson uh, is understood thank you so much